Amazon.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Somatlet.com, the web's most popular. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. USA Swimming has released its roster for the 2012 Short Course World Championship team, and Ellen Baumgartner will be traveling to Turkey in December to race against some of the best breaststrokers in the world. Now in her senior year at the University of Arizona, Baumgartner is also one to watch this collegiate season, and Ellen joins us in the Phoenix Monitor right now from Tucson. Ellen, good to see you. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Doing very well, thanks. So congratulations on being named to the World Championship team. Thank you very much. So um, have you ever been to Istanbul or anywhere in that area before? I have not. I've never been to Europe or anywhere further away than Mexico, <laughs> so well, I'm really excited. Yeah, this will be interesting. you got to make sure that you get on the European and Asian sides of Istanbul so you can say you've been to two continents at once. Yeah. So. For sure. <laughs> so did you expect to be named to this world championship team or was it a bit of a surprise? It was a bit of a surprise. Um, after trials, I was really focusing on um, US Open and qualifying for the World University Games. And I was um, one position out of qualifying for that. So after that meet was over, I was just kind of focused on the collegiate season and starting a new year. And so. When I got invited for the Short Curls World team, I was just, I was so excited. Yeah, you get a, it's kind of a little bit of redemption. It may not, it, I guess probably it's a, a step up from World University Games. Yeah, no, I'm, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited for the opportunity. And uh, you're, this meet is going to be in the third week of December when you'll be swimming at the Short Course Worlds. Now, Arizona usually tapers and shaves for the Texas invite uh, a couple weeks before that. So will this be a double taper for you? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do the same thing that the rest of the team is doing, going into um, nationals in Texas in December, and uh, we'll just carry over that taper onto Turkey. And so will this taper you guys will be doing in December, typically is to get your NCAA cuts, correct? Yes. Well, you won't be the only Arizona swimmer doing that. Kevin Cordes and Bonnie Brandon are also on the short course of World Steve, so I guess you guys will be uh, kind of working on getting those double tapers done yourself. What's the conversation that you've had with, with Eric Hansen and the rest of the, the coaching staff there on how you're going to be approaching that? We actually haven't talked about it a lot yet, but um, I think we're just going to take it one meet at a time probably because uh, the Texas meet is very important for the college season. So we will um, you know, be concentrating on that when it's happening, and then we'll look onwards to short course worlds. Well, this is your last season in Arizona. As I said, you're a senior. Um, you're the top breaststroker there. You've been, I guess, kind of a different can't think of a better way to put it, but you've been swimming in Annie Chandler's shadow for a couple of years, and now you're, you're the, the one that everybody looks at in terms of relays and, and scoring potential in the breaststrokes. How does it feel to uh, be the fastest breaststroker on the team there? Oh, it feels good. That's a very um, nice thing to say. We have such a good breaststroke group this year. Uh, Chelsea Stally and uh, freshman Emma Schottmer and Eve Saris uh, and a couple others. So, and we're all, we're so competitive in practice. So it's been a great training environment. And I, you know, I, I think those relay spots are going to be competitive this year. It's going to be um, really exciting. And I think we're all just going to push each other to do amazing things this year. Yeah, I want to talk about that breaststroke group. You guys are doing very well in Arizona, which is not anything new, but, you know, just a really good year this year. You know, not besides you making finals, Olympic trials, doing well, fourth, I believe, in the 100 breasts. And then, Clark Burkle making the Olympic team, Kevin Cordes setting the American record. You know, as I said, it's not new for breaststrokers to do well in Arizona, but what's been going on there to make this such a really good year for you guys? Oh, gosh, we, we've just been working really hard together, and we do, um, since Eric's been here, we've done a lot of long breaststroke sets, uh, a lot of heart rate breaststroke, which is something I hadn't done before. So I think that, I know it really helps me and I think it really helps all of us. Um, and just having each other to race and practice 
Um, and then race again when we get to the meets uh, really helps. Yeah, this was, I know I talked to a couple people there in Arizona when Greg Rodenbaugh left to coach at, at Missouri that there was a little bit of concern that because Greg was specifically the breaststroke coach that, you know, there was concern about how the, the breaststrokers would, would be able to handle the transition. So you're saying it went pretty well. Yeah, definitely. Before we were doing, um, mixing in a lot of IM training, which um, helps for breaststroke, especially the 200. And now we're kind of doing a little bit less IM and more just, you know, breaststroke, 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 um, which also, you know, really helps. So they're different, but they're both definitely effective. Are you the type of person who likes to do a lot of breaststroke and workouts? <laughs> I didn't think I was, but um, I definitely feel really good after doing a hard breaststroke set. And I think it's helped me a lot, especially with my 200. Yeah, absolutely. Now, your first dual meet of the season is a little more than a week away. You're swimming against Hawaii. What is your excitement level for these dual meets, especially since you will be in hard training? Uh, very, we're very excited. We just did a pentathlon um, the other Friday where we all raced 100 of each stroke and then 100 IM. And so that really got the excitement levels up on the team. And we have such a big group of new people, freshmen and transfers. So we're excited to see them race and to just get the dual meet season started. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, as I said, this is your last season in Arizona. Have you thought about whether you want to continue to swim after this collegiate season's over? Yeah, I think um, right now I'll definitely I'll swim next summer for sure and go to um, World Champ Trials. And um, I think I'm just going to take it year by year and see where my heart is and, and you know if I'm still in love with swimming. But um, as of right now, I'm definitely looking to swim in 2016 and keep going. Well, that's great to hear. And school-wise, what are you studying for any uh, post-swimming plans? Um, well, my major is psychology, and I have a minor in sports management and communication. So I'm working on just getting some internships and volunteering kind of experience and um, just focus on swimming right now, and then I'll think about the other stuff when that's over with. Yeah, if you're, if you're going to swim to 2016, you got a lot of time to plan for that. Well, Ellen, yeah. thanks so much for joining us today. And again, congratulations on being named to the World Championship team. Have a good trip in Turkey. As I said, make sure you have one foot in Europe, one foot in Asia. It's a fun experience. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you down the road. Bye. All right, so that's Ellen Baumgartner joining us today in the Phoenix Monitor. And that will do it for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. Be sure to follow us on SwimmingWorld.com as well as Twitter and Facebook for the latest news. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.